So right now, we are talking about only 31 days to 2023. Wow, this is amazing. Welcome to the biggest stories making headlines today in the country. My name is Mela Zmilo, aka Fula. Don't forget to subscribe and also tap on the bell for all the notifications. President Museveni has warned teachers to stop putting him under pressure over salary increments. Museveni yesterday said that teachers should desist from threatening him because this tendency is distracting government. President Museveni furthermore said that he was also a teacher asking teachers to be patient and wait for the government to work on their plea when the money is secured. We really want less obstruction because we get diverted. Instead of moving, we are always moving, moving, and I will not accept threats. And, and, and unreasonable. It, it must be tomorrow, 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 tomorrow. What, we do, what if we don't have the money? What are we going to do? Now, if somebody is against prioritization, we disagree. We disagree, and we can even have a fallout. If you don't respect the principle of prioritization, then you are an enemy of our progress. So please, stop this indiscipline. Don't make, we shall not agree to anybody to make us make a mistake. There you go. That is the latest update coming in from President Museveni's camp. Now, former presidential candidate Joseph Kablaita, who is also the president of Need Political Party, was arraigned in Nakawa court yesterday on charges of promoting sectarianism before he was remanded to Luzira prison. Bail was denied by the chief magistrate Rita Chidasa and she remanded him to Luzira maximum prison up to the 14th of December. If convicted on charges of promoting sectarianism, Mr. Joseph Kableta faces up to five years in jail. Otherwise, let's pray he gets bail on the 14th this month when he's returned back to court. Now, Makere University, as we speak right now, has a new president, and this one is called Alionzi Lores Dangote from His Excellency Bobby Wine's Red Camp National Unity Platform. Dangote won all the candidates in a virtual election that was held yesterday at the university. It should be remembered that the outgoing president of Makerere is still from Bobby Wine's Red Camp National Unity Platform. Well, congratulations to you, Lores Dangote, and your party, National Unity Platform. Now, the biggest topic in the country right now is still the issue of abductions that are still going on, especially right here in the central region. Now, the Minister of Internal Affairs, General Kahinda Otafire, yesterday, while he addressed the media in Igulu City, revealed that he has already instructed Uganda police not to arrest people without credible evidence. We have instructed the police not to arrest people unless they have very strong circumstantial evidence. This business of arresting people's suspicion without credible evidence that can stand the test of court uh, will try to restrain people from doing it. 
Kahinda Otafire, also said that the moment a government starts abducting its own people, then it's no longer a government. He said people should be arrested and be confined in places of confinement. When a government starts abducting its citizens, then it's no longer a government. People get arrested, not abducted. Why should the government arrest its, uh, abduct its citizens? Where do you think the most have abducted them? People are supposed to be arrested and confined in places of confinement. I'm not saying there are no rogue elements within the security forces. They are. You know, when the activity is heightened, some people take advantage of uh, that activity and commit crime. Otafire furthermore said that whoever is abducting people and putting them in ungazetted places, that person is a criminal and must be arrested. Whoever arrests people and puts them in non-gazetted places of detention is a criminal. That one should be followed and arrested also because you have no right to abduct a citizen. However, Otafire said there are people who claim to have been abducted, but when he finds out later, they are in police custody and they were arrested for credible reasons. There are people they brought to me who, who you know, they, who uh, claim to have been ab 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 abducted. And when I ask the, the police, they say, yeah, we arrested so and so, we arrested so and so, we're protecting the court, we arrested so and so. You find that these people are in gazetted places of detention. And they are being arrested for all reasons, credible reasons of uh, criminal activity. The Minister of Internal Affairs has warned whoever is behind these unlawful arrests that they are coming for you too. Jeno Otafire also spoke about the recent attack on the Gaddafi barracks in Jinja, where one UPDF soldier was shot dead and two guns stolen. The attack in uh, Magamaga, I mean in uh, Jinja, Gaddafi. So we've, our, our, for the information we have is that it was sheer robbery, thuggery. So I wouldn't want to come to the conclusion that there is a robo group. I wouldn't want to deny that possibly there could be somebody making trouble and hiding under rebellion. Well, there you go. That is the latest update I have for you right now on The Buzz UG. But in case you have anything on your mind about any of these stories, just put it down in the comment section. But most importantly, subscribe to The Buzz UG in case you haven't. And also tap on the bell for all the notifications. My name is Melads Milo, a.k.a. Fula, and I wish you a happy December. Mm -hmm.